Hi everybody, now I'm recording this video on the 7th of February 2023, which is before Daisy Update 1.20 has actually gone live, but I wanted to allow server owners to get ahead of the game if you run my um, hardcore survival churnerous XML files. And if you're wondering, well, what, what is this, Rob? Well, basically, these files give you a... I think a really nice version of Daisy because what you basically get is you get half, roughly half food and drink spawns on the server, roughly half of the box ammo spawns on the server, um, car and truck batteries spawn with no power charge. Okay, so you've got to, if you want to get a vehicle going, you've got to get a charger and a generator as well, and all the items that are on the map are always counted no matter where they are. So that if someone finds, for example, um, an M4 and pick it up and then puts it in a in a stash, the game knows that and still counts it. So as players are on the server, things will get rarer and rarer and rarer if they if they um, if they stash them. So the idea with this is it encourages trading, or if you're on a PvP server, it really encourages um, uh, people. <laughs> raiding each other's bases i guess as well because things are going to get harder and harder and even if you're playing on a pve server like like my guys do and girls on, on my community server um survival just gets harder and harder and harder because it, if you if you um hoard stuff it gets rarer um so i think i think it, i think it's quite nice um now it's very easy to install these well these two files um and it's compatible with PC and uh, console. Um, oh, sorry, and the other thing that happens is you get half, approximately half the number of infected and zombies that spawn in, which, and I think that personally, this is probably closer to the amount of zombies that I would like to see in DayZ in general as well. I think there's too many zombies in DayZ, too many infected. Um, and this gives the world more of a, an empty feel when you're going into the towns and cities and you just come across the odd zombie you can still get swarmed if you're not careful because there are a few of them around but that situation where you're standing on a car bonnet whacking zombies with an axe trying to kill them all um, happens less uh, as you go along now to um, so the files basically are in my github repository so I'll put a link in the description below the video um, there's also a uh, so there's a messages.xml, a types.xml, and a zombie territories.xml, and a readme. The readme contains the instructions. Basically, all that's changed for 1.20, uh, all that I bothered to change really, is adding in the masks. So you've got the party masks and you've got the mime masks. Um, and also, cha I changed the uh, battery so they would spawn in flat as well to add that little bit of extra change. So if you're now to use them, go over to my GitHub repository, click on the code button, download the zip, unpack it, upload them to your server. Um, you'll want to um, install them over the top of a vanilla 1.20 um, um, server. So if you've got other mods that you want to get rid of, you're going to have to reset the files back to uh, back to vanilla first and then put these files on top. But you're probably now to do this. Now, if you don't know how to do this, all you do, for example, on console, is you go into your web interface for your server, and then when 1.20 goes live, um, this is when, what you'll want to do, is you'll want to go to um, uh, settings general, and you'll want to scroll down, and you'll want to go to, where is it? Reset mission XML to default. So you click that, you'll save, you'll restart the server, um, once it's restarted, you'll unclick that and you'll save. And then you want to go into your types that XML that's on there, and you want to do a search for mask, and you want to see if the new masks are on there. If they are, you know you've got the latest files. And then all you need to do then is you just need to go into the file browser, go into the missions folder. Remember, these are just for Cherneris. Go into daisyoffline.cherneris plus, and then go into the DB directory. And then you just upload the types.xml over the top of the existing types.xml uh, and the messages over the existing messages type.xml XML, if you want to use that. That just gives you a server restart. Um, and then you go back to the uh, main directory, if I can get there. Cool. And then you want to go into the uh, env folder and you'll want to upload the zombie territories.xml. 
um, and then you'll want to restart your server and then you'll have those uh, new files in place now that's so it's pretty easy to do for console to do that you know dead easy to do it's a little bit trickier on PC basically what you're going to be doing on PC is to go to the vanilla 1.20 files what you're probably going to be doing is either waiting for Bohemia Interactive to update their uh, github repository with the latest files um, or if you have um, if you've installed the 1.20 experimental server on your local PC you can use the files over there and upload those and restart and that will do it but again only do this when 1.20 has has gone live and your server backend has been updated so generally what happens is with community with the console servers PlayStation Xbox is you'll get a message from Nitrado saying the servers are being updated and they will update but they don't update the XML files that's what you've got to do by resetting the um, the, the files to default but also remember that when you do that it deletes all of your edited types that XML your edited events all that sort of stuff goes away Okay, so there we go. But I highly recommend if you want a different version of Daisy that's a little bit more of a challenge, because remember everything else is vanilla in these files. So you've got the normal number of animals, uh, items are all spawning and damaged, all that sort of stuff is happening. But you've got less of a hassle from zombies as you're going through towns, and you, you're gradually getting less and less equipment, um, and it's more difficult. So that that first half hour, that first hour is often a little bit more difficult. And then it's a little bit more of a challenge as you're going forward as well to, to stay alive, you know, to find things like meds and things like that. Anyway, check them out. If you find any errors, because they normally are some, let me know in the comments or send me an email, skillsweed at gmail.com. Um, and if you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.